Hi folks, so this is just a short demonstration of the SimWork Studios Carrier app. So here's where we can set, we can assign preset profiles to our aircraft and we can edit those profiles and we can uh, also uh, add the carrier deck configuration gauges to the uh, to their panels. So this is a list of all my aircraft in FSX. If I go up here, I can also see all the airplanes I have in Pair 3 DV4. I can see all the airplanes I have in FSX Steam, etc. So all of the presets, or most of the presets, unless you have an airplane that we couldn't get our hands on, uh, should come pre-assigned. And you shouldn't have to deal with with assigning them. Uh, for our purposes, just to show you how it's done, I've actually de-assigned my planes here. So in order to assign a preset to the Phantom, I can do this. Go to this drop-down menu. Let's pick SWS F4BN Phantom 2. There we go. And let's also add the deck configuration gauges for uh, the USS Midway and the Coral Sea 1973, or let's do 65 instead. Sure. There we go. And as you can see, the Save All Settings button has come alive. Now let's try. Let's, for these ones, let's add the preset together. So here we can do this. USS Midway. So pick whatever we want. Pick a preset. SWS. F4B Phantom, now apply to selected. That applies them to everything that's selected. Now we can save all settings. There we go. And uh, for the default FA18, which of course also comes with a prof with its own profile pre-assigned, what I'm gonna do instead is show you how to create a new profile. So we go to here, we select one, we click on preset from aircraft. And that will read whatever uh, read whatever information is in the aircraft CFG. For instance, the hook position. So FA-18 test, let's call this. And click on OK. And now it pops up. So as you can see, there's no angle of attack. And yet, unless you have a manual which shows the values in degrees instead of the arbitrary units normally used, it's not much use to enter them in now. It's much easier uh, to calibrate it in the sim. You can just click a click, push the space bar when you're at the desired angle of attack, and that does it. So it does show the hook attachment position now as being aft 10 feet below 5 feet, hook length 5 feet. I'm a little suspicious of that. A lot of airplanes come with fairly dubious. Uh, hook entries, and it's always a great idea to uh, calibrate it in the sim with the calibration tool, which is described in a different video. So you can switch to meters, feet, depending on your preference. Save. There we go. Save all settings. In manage presets, that shows us uh, that shows the same window. We can go through all our presets and let's the Vertavia E2C Hawkeye, here we go. Here that is. And uh, we can create a new one, delete, etc. Pretty straightforward. To manage the file paths, you go here. If we want to use a file path that's unexpected or something, it should always be a file path containing a sim objects folder. So the program will look for a sim objects folder and read the airplanes from there. Uh, we can revert the panel file to backup using this button, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Thank you.